Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome to Fuck Back. Let's dig right into it. The most feared fighter in boxing today is the Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, let's just clear this up because I've been getting a lot of people asking me about who's the most feared guy in boxing. And so since I had so many requests, I just need to break this down for everyone. And a lot of people have also been thinking because we put out the, the top five welterweight rankings that, you know, a lot of guys are thinking that why is Keith Thurman on there up so high over Bud? And it's not because he can beat Bud. It's not because I have him better than Bud. It's simply because his resume at this point in the welterweight division is better than Terrence Crawford's. But I do truly believe that Terrence Crawford will ellipse Keith one time Thurman. But let's get into why Terrence Bud Crawford is the most feared man in boxing today. The first reason is Keith Thurman, supposedly be the most experienced guy, the guy with the best resume. Uh, he's an elite level fighter. He's unified belts at one point, and he's beat both Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. So let's be honest. Keith Thurman has come out and made a multitude of statements about Terrence Crawford and how, oh, he's he's not a full-fledged wet welterweight. He's also came out and stated that, you know, he he doesn't rank him highly. His his win, wins doesn't mean much. You know, he's even said he doesn't have an Amir uh, Khan-level opponent on his resume. He said a lot of things to avoid fighting a Terrence Crawford. And most recently, he's come out and said that a Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence fight won't happen for him until 2020. So he's pretty much openly ducked Terrence Crawford. Crawford, he could get the smoke, the work, the fight right away, but he's choosing not to do it. He doesn't want to engage. And I understand the first fight should be a bounce back fight. See how you feel. But at the end of 2019, the whole fucking year, you don't tell me you can't manage to make a deal and an offer with a Terrence Crawford? Because let Keith Thurman tell it, Terrence Bud Crawford is a small guy who's not even a full well welterweight. So if Terrence Crawford is not a full-fledged welterweight. If Terrence Crawford is unproven at 147 and all you need is a bounce-back fight, then why don't you get in there and go take Terrence Crawford's belt? That would make Keith Thurman's stock rise dramatically. The reason why he won't take the fight, the reason why he's delaying it till 2020 is because he knows Terrence Crawford has a special set of skills that ellipses his own. And that's why he's not interested in getting the ring with a guy that good anytime soon he wants to delay that for as long as possible and similar to errol spence he wants to take the easiest route imaginable and let's get to errol spence another reason why terence crawford is probably the most feared man in boxing is because errol spence jr has said those same things as well he said he's on the other side of the street he's come out and said he will not fight on espn but at the same time he comes out and touts that he doesn't have a boss he has his own promotional company so you have all this you can typically fight anywhere you want to fight but yet he keeps mentioning and referencing al Heyman any time a fight is to be made then you turn around and look at Floyd Mayweather Jr. who spoke on Errol Spence and Al Heyman's behalf and came out and stated that they will not be looking to make Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford anytime soon and maybe not even in any time in 2019 as well. You've seen a face-to-face -face confrontation with Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford as well where Errol Spence Jr. openly comes out and tells him he's looking to take the easy route. So he's looking for the easiest fights He's looking for the easiest way to get belts. He's looking for the easiest opponents. He's not looking to, to give the, fan, the fight fans what they want to see, the best fights against the best. He's not looking to truly unify against the best fighters because no doubt if Errol Spence Jr. was the boogeyman, if he was the guy everyone fears and, and no one wants to fight, then why is Terrence Crawford confronting him and saying, hey, let's fight. Let's make this fight happen next. No word. Then everyone and all the fanboys come out and say, well, you know, Errol Spence Jr., he, he, he would fight him. But, you know, Bob Arum doesn't want to the fight. Then Bob Arum came out and said we can make the fight. Excuse after excuse after excuse. Danny Garcia, on the other hand, Terrence Crawford has made an open offer to him. It was made public. And Danny Garcia even acknowledged the offer that was made to his camp. But basically comes out and states if it wasn't to Al Heyman, he doesn't consider it legitimate. But that's not the issue. If there was an offer that they made to you, why wouldn't you at least consider it? You don't want to negotiate it. It's because you don't want that fight. Danny Garcia feels like his career can't take back-to-back -back losses. So he's not interested in fighting a Terrence Crawford. Danny Garcia's work rate is not enough to be able to beat a Terrence Crawford. He's not going to be able to do enough in that fight to be able to beat Terrence Bud Crawford. And so he knows that that's too risky of a fight. So you have everyone on the Showtime PBC Fox roster avoiding Terrence Bud Crawford, basically the whole damn division of champions and supposedly elite level boxers.
So at this point, there's nothing else to be said, but Terrence Bud Crawford is the most feared man in boxing today. No one wants to step in the ring with him. I give Amir Khan his props for at least entertaining and um, looking to try to make the fight. But at the same time, if you look at Amir Khan, Amir Khan is basically searching for his last big fight. And so it's going to be very telling whether Amir Khan get this deal done or not. It, it seems like that you would assume that every fighter would jump at a chance to take that belt off of Terrence Crawford if he's not a full-fledged welterweight, if he's such a small guy, if he's so easy of a guy to beat. Why is everyone not rushing? Because this guy is elite. This guy has one of the best skill sets in boxing. And this guy can stop even the bigger fighters. I believe, in my personal opinion, if he fought Errol Spence Jr., he would stop him. I believe he would wear him down over the rounds and pick him apart bit by bit. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.